CSS just released one of the coolest new properties, and it makes expanding to the full width and height of something so easy. In this example, we have a wrapper with an inner inside of it. And as you can see here, the wrapper is 200 by 200, black background with some padding, and our inner element just has a blue border and an orange background, as you can see here. The problem is if I want this to fill the full width and height, it's not going to work. If I just say width 100% and height 100% and I save, you notice if we look at the top and the bottom here, my orange container is actually overflowing my black element, even though I have the width and height set to 100%. If I change the box sizing to be border box, that will fix the problem in this specific scenario. But if I were to then add some margin on my element, for example, to REM, you'll now see it is way overflowing my container because this box sizing only helps me with padding and border. But when I add margin, my width and height 100% are no longer able to be calculated correctly. This is where the stretch value comes in. I can change my width value to stretch and I can change my height value to stretch and all of a sudden everything is fixed perfectly. And the entire reason why this stretch property works the way it does is essentially what it does is it takes my element and determines its width based on adding together the margin, padding, border, and all the content inside of it. So we take essentially 100% width, but we account for margin padding and everything else instead of just accounting for what's inside of our box sizing. This means that it'll work no matter what we have for things to size our element. And this is the perfect property value for when you want something to fill the full size of its container and 100% isn't working because of things like margin or padding. The only downside is this is not available in Firefox right now, but I'm hoping full browser support will be here before we know it.